Uh, first, I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is Michal Konečný. I'm a senior software engineer in community platform engineering team. And I'm working on Fedora infrastructure. Uh, if you are wondering, wondering about the head, this is something I'm doing for uh, as a maintainer of resmonitoring.org. I'm writing a blog post and it's in a, it's uh, taken as a magical world and I'm trying to keep it that way. And I decided to vote a head that will represent it. It has, as you can see, the court that is here or the, uh, the, the part of the head is actually blue and white. So it corresponds to the Fedora colors, which is nice. Uh, okay, you can find me find me as as Lopez, which is my nick on the uh, metrics on IRC on mailing list. So, yep. Okay, so let's go for it. Okay, so this talk will be uh, will be separated to three parts. First, I will do some quick introduction to Steam Deck. I assume that everybody who is here actually know what Steam Deck is, otherwise we will not be here. Uh, but I will still do some quick introduction. Uh, then I will talk about the installation of Fedora on Steam Deck, how it actually uh, went. Uh, spoiler alert, it went good. Uh, and then I will talk about uh, the Fedora on Steam Deck and how was the experience with it. And at the end, I will do some summarization of what uh, is the whole great experience was. So first, the Steam Deck. OK, so the Steam Deck is a gaming hand handheld uh, developed by Valve Corporation. It has a custom IMD APU based on Zen, Zen 2. So it's actually x86-64 processor. So it works like any other PC just have different controls and uh, different uh, uh, different uh, control options. And it's uh, designed for the gaming. Um, it has three storage options for uh, with the NVMe storage. It has Steam Deck verified program, which uh, says to on the Steam what, uh, what game is actually verified. It's, for my experience, it's amazing device because I, from the time I got it, I didn't even started up my desktop uh, gaming station. So I think it's awesome. Uh, it contains uh, Arch Linux based uh, Steam uh, uh, OS3 uh, system. Uh, it is called SteamOS Hollow, SteamOS3 Hollow, and uh, it's uh, dedicated for the gaming, so it has some perks that you will see, but you can work with it with like any other Linux distribution. But in my case, I wanted to try Fedora on it and see how it will work. <laughs> OK. So first, for the installation on the on, uh, of Fedora on Steam Deck, I decided to have some docking station that I can actually use because the docking station is, uh, it's hard to actually do uh, some things on it without the keyboard and mouse. So I decided to first have the docking station and I decided to go for the one you can see here. Uh, it's from Czech computer store. Uh, you can you can buy it. It's not, uh, not uh, really, uh, um, cost it doesn't cost much uh, you need the power delivery for the docking station at least uh, 60 watts the 45 watts is for the steam deck itself and uh, uh, the remaining one are for the, anything you want to put in like the monitor or any external devices uh, i got the charger with 65 watts the output of this docking station is 100 watts. So if you want to uh, use it, you can use it even for uh, for hungrier devices. 
And what I decided to actually install, in my case, I'm a big fan of Silverblue, of OS3, uh, OS3 di distribution or OS3 versions of Fedora. In my case, I have Silverblue and Kinoide on my machines. Uh, I think the only exception, exception for this is the server. But for everything I'm using, I have OS3 based image. I really like how the OS3 is uh, managing the updates that you actually switch from one OS3 image to another on restart, and then you will end up in new system. It's easy to get back if any, anything doesn't work. And uh, you don't end up in actually broken state because it's uh, you can always return to the previous image. At least I never get to this state from uh, Silver Blue 28. Okay, so let's start with the installation. So first thing you need, you need to get to the boot manager. This is done by uh, actually powering off the device. And then when you are powering it up, you need to hold down volume down button. And if you uh, hear some chime, you will just uh, you will just release it, and then you get to this menu. I I use it. I actually used the USB flash drive. I prepared the silver blue using the Fedora Media Writer, and the USB flash drive was just uh, hooked up in the docking station, and this was uh, this was the except. Uh, this was the result of it. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry for the quality of the images because I just uh, took it with my phone and in most cases it was with different lighting. So uh, every image is kind of different. But now you can see that the Fedora uh, installer is working. This is Anaconda. There is one big issue with the installation and this is that you don't really uh, have the support for the resolution you need. So uh, I'm not sure what is the support for Anaconda, but uh, the Steam Deck uh, display has uh, 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 1280 by 800. And as you can see, you don't see any buttons that you can press except for help. So it was just trial and error with tab key and enter. In most cases, just to switch to the uh, to the right one, and this is the installation again. But uh, my the worst case or the most difficult uh, thing that I needed to do during the installation was uh, to actually uh, format the drive because I I had the pop-up window that I should choose the, the, all the file partitions that I need to actually rewrite, but I didn't saw any buttons. So I just trial and error and just uh, tr just actually get it to install. So uh, yeah, uh, this is another thing uh, that the Carlis is mentioning. It's uh, if you are doing the install, you need to have at least the keyboard uh, plugin because the controller uh, works uh, only the touchpad works. So you can move with mouse, but because you don't see the buttons, you can't actually uh, you can actually press anything. Okay, so and this is a first boot. You can see the Fedora logo on it. Uh, I have it right here so this is how it looks after i hope it's visible uh, and uh, later with the, the this is just the first boot but on the uh, other boots you will see the steam deck logo as well but i don't have any any picture of that so let's see okay and this was the first uh, boot Welcome to Federal Linux 36. I got through all of this. Uh, there were th things that worked that didn't work. This is actually the installation was uh, was great. Uh, 
the only issue was with the resolution. Otherwise, I didn't saw anything. But yeah, as mentioned here, you really need to have a keyboard connected to the Steam Deck in during the installation. And here is just the usage of Fedora on Steam Deck. So this was the first run. What worked? The docking station worked really well. I didn't saw any issue with anything I plugged in. Uh, the charging worked, everything worked. Uh, resolution worked on the Fedora. It was set up on the first run without issue. The display worked, battery indicator worked. Uh, what is the issue? The sound doesn't work. Uh, I looked into this and uh, the, uh, SteamOS has some kernel modules for their own uh, sound card. So, of, or for the sound card in Steam Deck, which isn't really in Upsteam kernel yet. So you don't have, uh, you will not have any sound in in the Steam Deck. Uh, you will, you can uh, have it. I uh, heard that in Nobara Linux, you they have some patches for it. But uh, otherwise, the SteamOS is just uh, the system that is created for it. So in Fedora, the sound was, was the issue. And the second issue was with the uh, fun. The fun is uh, louder than it is on the SteamOS because in SteamOS, there are some uh, software patches that will actually um, changing the speed of the fun. Uh, because people were complaining that it's too loud and they actually do some software patches, but those are not upstream as well. So you don't, uh, you have the fun when it's really start working. It's, uh, it's just noisy. Okay. And the external peripherals, uh, mouse and keyboard work. This was just connected to the docking station. I didn't saw any issue with them. Uh, problem was with the monitor. You can see that I have a monitor running. The middle one is actually connected to the Steam Deck, and it's just uh, uh, the extension of the screen of the Steam Deck. I through the mirroring doesn't really work well because you will have the uh, you will have the same resolution as on the Steam Deck, which isn't really great on big monitors. Uh, the Thing that didn't work really on the monitor. The monitor sometimes started as a black screen, the built-in display on the Steam Deck, uh, when connected to the external one. And this wasn't really an issue. If the uh, GNOME or the uh, Fedora itself really de detected that the screen is not working, but it actually started with it, and even in the login, the login screen was because the uh, building display was the pri primary one. Everything was on it, and you didn't even saw uh, saw the login screen. So you needed to do it from uh, memory to actually just uh, type enter, type has a password, type enter, and doesn't you don't see anything. Uh, this happened sometimes. It's not something that is uh, happening every time. But uh, yeah, it was annoying. And uh, I decided when uh, plug uh, when I was plugging with external monitor to actually disable the built-in display because it caused other issues, which I will show up later. OK, so no, without the docking station. So I wanted to try how it will be to actually work with it with a docking station or use it with a docking station. Uh, I was the, I was really uh, surprised by how the on-screen keyboard is working. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure if it's possible, but I didn't found uh, an option to actually have it on all the time or at least on some uh, shortcut because it actually shows up only if you click on any input, but in some apps, it didn't actually detect it that you are on the text input. So uh, actually, uh, when I started the Steam on the device and wanted to log into the Steam, I didn't get the on-screen 
uh, keyboard, so I needed to plug it plug in uh, to the docking station and just uh, do it with the keyboard. The touchpad worked without issue, touch screen worked without issue, and most of the uh, keys on the Steam Deck works without issue, but uh, they are uh, mapped to something on the keyboard, like uh, D-pad is actually working as uh, uh, as keys, as arrow keys. Uh, the A uh, key is working as enter, the B key is working as escape, and there is uh, some other keys that are uh, mapped to something else. Uh, okay. Next thing is uh, using uh, is working on the Steam Deck. I actually spent one day when I tried to work on it and do more some of the things I'm doing on my working laptop. Most of the time, it actually was just to set it up. I needed to connect to uh, configuration repo I have. I needed to. Uh, install some apps, I just layered them on, on top of the OS image. In some cases, I tried some of the flat packs. So what worked? Terminal worked without issue. I didn't saw actually any device where the terminal didn't work. So yeah, I wasn't uh, really surprised here. The browser worked without issue. Uh, as you can see, I have it open on the uh, image on the right. Uh, this is actually me creating weekly report for community platform engineering. So this was what I was trying to do on it. What didn't work were the video meetings. Uh, obvious issue and this is uh, this is obvious because the sound doesn't work. So you don't have mi microphone or the sound card. So it doesn't really make much sense to do a video meetings. Uh, text editor worked. I used the Vim and Space Max. Also, uh, so yeah, I didn't have any issue with those. I would say that most of the Flatpak apps will actually work. For the Office Suite, I have here that it worked and didn't work. It didn't work for me the first time, but this was maybe caused by the built-in display issue because it just uh, it just put in in the log that it uh, can't fail to open display. And uh, on the other time, it actually worked. So I created part of this presentation on it. So you can see here that this is actually part of it was done on the Steam Deck. And the last thing that I did tried was the SSH to it to from other device, which worked without issue. And this is more of uh, more or less everything I tried to do as of working on it. Okay, so. Let's switch to the next one. And this is what the uh, what the Steam Deck is actually made for. So I try to game on it. Um, for the Steam, I have here that it's uh, more or less working. Uh, what didn't work was the Flatpak version of Steam. Flatpak version of Steam uh, doesn't have the UDEF rules, so it doesn't recognize the controller. So it's unusable with the uh, Steam Deck even uh, connected on on Fedora. Uh, and uh, next thing I I tried was the uh, was the layered Steam. I found out there is some issue with the GPG key in non-free Steam RPM Fusion uh, Steam repository. It just didn't take the key. So I just, uh, re in this case, I just uh, did uh, work around by uh, just disabling the GPG check and it uh, came up. I don't think this is a good, uh, good uh, resolution, but uh, I don't uh, think there is anything bad with the repository when it's uh, actually from uh, in Fedora from start. Uh, this worked. I have all the UDF rules. I uh, have the controller working in this case. I tried the big picture mode, as you can see on the left uh, image. Uh, it worked without issue. Uh, everything was smooth. Everything really worked. Uh, the controller, all the things on the controller worked. I was surprised, as you can see, the last thing that the 
gyroscope work. I wasn't sure about this uh, on the on the issue, and the game performance was really well, except the sound. Was, there wasn't any sound, but I tried the Aperture Desktop, which is the game that was created for the Steam Deck from start. So uh, it actually tries everything on the Steam Deck that uh, is able to do. And uh, everything worked in this case. I even uh, get to the part of the game where you actually trying to gyroscope and it worked. So only thing that didn't work, but the game is actually, uh, actually expecting that it can't work. It, it could be possible that it do, didn't work. Uh, it was uh, when you need to actually use the microphone or use the uh, or use the keyboard to. Yeah, there was one issue with it. Uh, uh, you should press F12 when you uh, are trying to take pictures, which. Uh, uh this isn't actually the steam actually didn't recognize it as steam deck it uh, recognizes a steam controller which worked but uh, yeah you didn't have everything on it it uh, it has all the uh, controls actually worked but yeah it wasn't recognized as steam deck so the uh, the uh, things that it wanted you to do it, there was keys actually press, press the keys and the F12 wasn't really mapped on the Steam Deck. So I just do, uh, I just waited and the game just skip it. When you don't uh, do it in some time, it will just skip it. The same for the microphone part, because the microphone didn't work, uh, because the sound driver issues. And this is actually everything I have. There are some some links in the slides. I will share them in the schedule uh, on the wiki. So I will look at the questions here. Oh, so first thing is which version of Steam Deck I have. Oh, I have the uh, the biggest one, the 512 gigabytes. I didn't want the, uh, the smaller ones because uh, I just don't need that much space, but it's better to have more space uh, on the device than just using the SD card. I heard that the, there are SD cards that are really, uh, really good. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I'm just uh, happy with it. I didn't even fill it with 20% uh, of the of the full space so i'm happy with it uh, okay so next thing is from carlis have you tried steam hollow mode up on steam deck with fedora running on it i didn't know there is any steam hollow mode actually i uh, looked at the game scope but uh, only saw that it's it's just as compositor available but not really hollow mode i didn't try it because i didn't know it exists but yeah it's something i can try uh, but yeah i i didn't uh, next is did you end up trying nobara linux on the deck uh, i didn't but it was uh, recommended to me uh, I will probably get back to the SteamOS Hollow because it worked for really well. And uh, from last update, I saw they actually solved plenty of uh, small issues they had. So yeah, I will get back to this. Uh, I will leave it to another, uh, some someone else, some other explorer to actually try it. And next one. What work do you think is required to make Fedora fully viable for Steam Deck? Do you think Fedora Workstation Silver could be best suited or would uh, gaming sick fit the bill? Okay, so yeah, I actually promised you the sum summary of this. So the Fedora on the Steam Deck runs well. I think uh, what we need, what 
would need to be done to actually have the Fedora as a viable option on Steam Deck? Would be to have uh, the holo mode on it, as uh, mentioned before, uh, because it's much easier to actually uh, work with everything when you have uh, everything on the uh, everything uh, done for the controller. Expected that the controller is actually uh, actually uh, doing this. Uh, the next thing that will be nice will be to have some uh, for at least for GNOME to have some uh, keyboard shortcut for on-screen uh, keyboard because there are some things that uh, you don't uh, you can do for in uh, Steam Deck uh, in Steam OS three Holo is actually option to uh, to press the Steam. A key with the X and uh, with the X key, and you will get the keyboard uh, everywhere. This is working everywhere in uh, on uh, uh, Steam Deck, which would be nice to actually get something like this. And uh, last thing are the uh, drivers for things that are not really upstream, like the sound. The sound was actually the only issue. I really, uh, I really have uh, something to struggle with because. If you skip, if you get to the big picture mode, it's usable. You can do much with it. Uh, I'm not sure if this, uh, if you don't have, if you will not have any issue with it in other games, because some of the games, even on the Steam Deck, uh, in the Steam OS, will just uh, say to you that they, you need to press some keys on keyboard that you don't actually have. You can, uh, you can. Uh, you can map them in the Steam input menu, but yeah, the, this isn't really a solution if the game wants it for you and uh, you just need something, something to map. Um, but yeah, I, I think the Fedora is actually a good system for the gaming itself. The main reason I think it, this is, is because they have most of the time the latest drivers, latest kernel, so it works with most of the newest hardware. I have Fedora Kinoite on my gaming station and it's working without issue. I really didn't have much much issue with it. Uh, the issue is usually with the game, not, not with the system itself. And on the Steam Deck, I think the Silver Bull is actually a good, uh, good match. Maybe the Kinoite will be better. I didn't write it, but uh, yeah, it was one of the things I actually tried to decide over if I want to try Silver Blue or the Kinoid, Kinoid on this. And Silver Blue was actually the winner <laughs> in this. Okay, so next one. How was GNOME on the deck without any peripherals in comparison to that that was chosen for SteamOS? Okay, so SteamOS, uh, KD on SteamOS has some uh, some things that are actually just added for the SteamOS. Like if you get to the uh, desktop mode in the Steam Deck, and you will get to this uh, in the SteamOS, and you will get to the uh, desktop screen, there is a Steam running in the background. And it will actually enable for you some controllers, uh, some controller things. Like uh, you will have the shortcuts for uh, uh, making that sc magnifiers uh, screen, so you can magnify part of the screen. You have the uh, shortcuts for the keyboard. You have shortcut for other things. Uh, but otherwise, the the controller controls as such worked on Berks same on the Fedora. I didn't really need to uh, just get used to anything else that wasn't working on the on the Steam Steam OS itself. But the, yeah, I would say that the Steam OS is still better suited for for the Steam Deck as, as it is. Okay, so next one. Do you think Valve should have chosen Fedora over Arch? Uh, this is their decision. I'm not sure if 
they will be better with Fedora. They will still need to do the work they did. Um, but I would say that it will be easier for them. It depends when they were actually choosing it. Because the Arch Linux with OS3 is uh, their invention. I don't think the Arch has OS3 version. And if they go with Fedora, they would they could just do Silverblue or Kinoite and just uh, do the uh, changes on top of it. So I would say that it will be uh, for them, it will be easier, but it depends on them. Creating OS3 image isn't that, that hard, actually. And I see the last question. How was the storage space usage? The base of SteamOS, Steam Hollow has been trimmed to save as much possible for games. How did Fedora fare with storage? Okay, so I actually didn't check that. So let me just check it. Okay. Okay, so there's one more issue I actually didn't mention. Uh, if the Steam Deck goes to the, uh, goes to the, uh, black screen just dimming the screen it's usually just uh kidding uh it can't be wake up there is some issue with the with the display so yeah let me just restart it so i can i can check the space uh but yeah the trimming of the space is uh, something you will need still from the fedora silver Blue to actually uh remove everything that uh, you don't really uh you don't really need because it will just uh, take out the uh, it will just take out the storage. So yeah, I think the Fedora is a viable option for it. I just I that I just need to log in. <laughs> I can see that the the most filled in is boot partition, and for the home or. Yeah, the home partition has uh, only 22 gigabytes actually uh, taken. So most of the space is left for you to actually use it for anything. OK, uh, yeah. OK, so you, you have uh, on this device, you have 22 gigabytes only, only taken. And I have uh, already Steam and some, some games actually installed. And the last question, I think we are over time, but yeah, the, it didn't kick me out. So I will just continue. What are your favorite games to play on your deck? So I'm usually playing the single player ones. Uh, the Aperture Desktop is really great. It's funny, but it's, it's, really, uh, it's really short. So I can recommend it to anybody who just want to try it. It's good to try on the new new Steam Deck just to see what the Steam Deck is capable of. Uh, but the best game I played on it was, uh, I would say that for me, it's it's the visual novel games because uh, the visual novel games are really good that you can actually take Steam Deck with you to your bed and just before you go to sleep, just going through this uh, visual novel. But I tried plenty of games. Uh, I tried uh, some strategies, I tried some FPS, and all of them are actually playable. Some are better for the better for the Steam Deck because they have more console uh, related uh, ob related uh, uh, related controls. Like uh, for example, the Resident Evil is really great to play on Steam Deck, but uh, I played the Prey which is the FPS game and didn't really saw any issue playing it. Because uh, if you want to actually just uh, aim with it, you will use the joystick. And if you want to do some, uh, some um, aiming that you need to be more precise, you will use the touchpad. It's, it's convenient. And you can even use the gy gyroscope. I didn't really uh, use it in FPS, but I know people that are actually using it. Okay, so this was the last. Oh yeah, uh, I see that uh, Carly's actually mentioned that uh, some games have also specific optimization for deck from the developers. Yeah, this is true. 
uh, especially the ones that are Steam Deck verified are pretty working out of the box. Uh, only only some I saw that uh, actually have the uh, were very verified, but uh, didn't uh, have some issues even even then. So it's not uh, 100 percent, but most of the time, if you see anything that is verified, you will just install it, start it, and it works. It works, and you can play. Okay, so yeah, this will be all from me. Thank you, everybody, for staying here with me. I hope you found it interesting and maybe next time i will game up with another uh, exper experiment with steam deck <laughs> we will see <laughs>